Well, Brady and I got this knife handle on. Looked it up and I found out that this is either used for corn or tobacco trimming. Okay. Uh, it wasn't handmade. You could actually order them a dozen in a burlap bag with handles. You could buy a dozen in a burlap bag for two dollars and fifty cents. That was back in 1931. Was the advertisement I found for them. And I can't find a name on this, so what I'm gonna do is before I go in and try to take all of this off, just in case there happens to be a trademark or a name, I'm gonna go ahead and put some navel jelly on it and see if I can remove the rust. I have a plan for this. Brady's not here. I asked him if he wanted to uh, help finish it and he said, no, Papa, you can do that. I just want to hit something with it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can dress this up a little bit and then I've got something special planned for his handle he made. So stick with me and I'll stick some of this uh, navel jelly on it and we'll see how it uh, uh, works. Put it on, wait an hour, see what it looks like. May have to do it another time. May have to just add some more and let it set. We'll about all I'm gonna do to it now got it where I want it to look it looks a little bit antique got some shiny parts on it what I'll do is I'll come back in with it and oil it real good after I get that finish on that handle look like an old blade to you does to me. I want to correct something I said earlier. I said these weren't uh, uh, forged, that they were factory made. Well, they were in fact forged. They were forged in a factory. And uh, best I can gather, the factory hired men and they worked as uh, blacksmiths running the presses and the hammers and the casting machines that uh, made the cast iron parts also. This particular model of hay knife, corn knife, or uh, tobacco knife was called the clipper. So that's where we are. Well, there's Shasta. Hello, girl. How you doing? How's that Shasta dog, huh? 
Come here. Oh yeah, that's a good doggy. Where you been, huh? You been out wishing you could chase a rabbit? So glad you came to see me, girl. Yeah. So glad. Oh, little belly rubbing, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you want some more? Okay, girl, I gotta get to work. I'm working on Brady's handle for his corn knife. And I want to make it flat across here so that he can register it in his hand. So I'm gonna, gonna sand a flat along this edge here and one along this edge down here. I wanna leave the pommel up here pretty much like it is. And down here on this end, I'm gonna leave it just about like it is. But I'm gonna take off most of those humps so that it's flat across here and he can easily register it in his hand. That way, whenever he's swinging it, it, doesn't, it isn't twisted in his hand. He can control the angle of the blade. So I've got my Sears Craftsman Professional, circa 1986 maybe, belt sander. It's a one and a quarter horse and it uses a four by 21 belt. Try finding one of those at your local hardware store. I've got to go from the other direction. Hold on, I'll move you to the other side. Did a decent job of flattening that off. Pretty much the same on both sides. Oh yeah, feels pretty good when I wrap it around it. Of course, his finger's a lot smaller than mine, but uh, doesn't feel too bad. Now I need to blend those flats in a little. So I'll get out the uh, random orbital sander and I'll see if I can uh, break those little ridges off along here where that blends in. But it's narrower through here. Okay. And I'm a little high on this end here, but I can pull that out with the random orbital. So I'll get it out and I'll start with probably, I don't know, 120 grit and work my way down. So, just kind of smoothed it out in here. I'm gonna take some uh, strip sandpaper now and, and touch it up and get rid of all the scuffs and such from, from handling it, <coughs> assembling it. And then, I'll be ready to put some finish on. Brady's uh, favorite color is blue. If you go in his bedroom, you'd be hard pressed to find anything else in that room that's not blue. Okay? And on any given day, he's gonna be wearing blue. But at any rate, 
Ray's favorite color is blue. So what I thought I'd do is put a blue handle on this. And what I have is some stain. Okay. This stain is uh, a bright blue aniline dye stain from uh, M.E. Mosier's. The date on there is August 2000. Used on several projects. It's just about all gone. It's kind of clumpy. It's uh, water soluble. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get a little dab of it in here. That should be plenty enough. And see if I can break up the clumps. Then pour a little water in it. We'll see how it does. Well, clumps don't break well. Let's get them wet and see how they do. I suspect that the secret ingredient in here, in this stain, is copper oxide. We just need, oh, a few ounces, okay? Doesn't take a lot. Light and dark spots, yeah. I think I can blend it though. I think you'll be surprised. <clears throat> One last highlight I wanna do. While I was dying it, I took a crayon, color white, and I put Brady's initials on the end of the handle here, okay? I want to do some highlighting around that without wiping it off because uh, I think that'll make it pop out a little more. So I'm going to go ahead and do that highlighting and then I think it's ready to uh, wipe down and to put the finish on. Okay, 
So now I don't know how well the light is going to pick it up, but I put highlights down this handle. So that it looks like it's had a little bit of wear. Okay. And what I'll do next is I'll coat it with uh, a clear lacquer. If it was going to be an outside tool, I would probably use a polyurethane. But uh, this is supposed to be a wall hanger. So. I'll uh, get this tacked off and uh, we'll uh, get some uh, spray finish on it. <clears throat> this is the fourth coat. Uh, what I've been doing is when you put it on, it has a real high sheen. Okay. As soon as that gloss starts to dull, because it's lacquer, you really wouldn't want to do it with like a polyurethane, uh, because it's lacquer, as soon as that starts to dull, you can give it another coat. I think four will be it. I think that's all I want to build up now. Then I'll give it a good day to dry all the way through. And then I'll come back in tomorrow. And I'll do a light sanding just to level the paint, take off any wood nibs that pop up through the paint. And I'll give it another uh, light coat. But I think that's all I want to put on it. Yep, I think that's it. I'm gonna hang it up. Let it dry out here for a while and then I'll take it inside later this afternoon. Brady came by and I gave him the corn knife. He really liked the handle. Loved that blue. But his mom said he couldn't take it home. So I had to come up with plan B.
Okay. I have this molding made for another project. It is uh, hard maple, and I have used a blue aniline dye for the outside and laminated that to a piece of uh, three-quarter inch thick stock that I just uh, cut out on the table saw, sanded, and used a tempura paint for a white finish. It's a, uh, uh, the paint was, was uh, dissolved in water so that it wouldn't look like a paint, so it looked more like a stain. It's thinner in some places than in others, okay? Been sitting around my shop for a while, so it's uh, pretty dirty. The other project didn't pan out. Uh, just uh, the, the project just didn't make it. I decided that uh, I didn't really like this style of frame for that project, so I made a totally different one. So these have been laying around now since uh, Christmas. It was going to be a Christmas gift. The uh, frames are pretty, the, the molding is pretty close. This angle here is uh, cut pretty close uh, to right. It doesn't fit up quite correctly, but it hasn't had a final fitting done on it either. It's about the right size though that I can take and make a display case or a display frame for Brady's corn knife. Okay. I mentioned before that it's a picture hanger or a wall hanger. It's not going to be a uh, toy that I uh, would expect that he'd play with, and it's not going to be a useful implement. It's uh, bent slightly, and uh, on top of that, it's, it's very, very old. But uh, uh, I'm going to mount it, and I have something else special that I found that's going to go in the case with it. And because blue is Brady's favorite cover, color, I thought that these frames here might work well to uh, encase it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a uh, setup with the picture framing jig that I have. And uh, we'll see just how close or how far off those uh, corners are after we pull it together and get a square. Well, the miters didn't come out real bad. And she's going to give us a, a very similar length part to the ones she seems to have had on the last few holes. A little bit of a gap. Well, we've got one in the clubhouse at 13 under the owner McGuire. This one over here is the worst one. And I actually don't have it lined up quite right. This needs to move back in here. And this one needs to move up forward like this. And then whenever I put the pressure on it, it'll close up. Okay? So I think I'm going to go ahead and work with that. Put some uh, glue in it. And uh, put that together. Diagonals on it uh, shrank an eighth of an inch, but they're still even. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, glue this up. I found this advertisement from the W. Bingham Company catalog, page 363 in 1932. And it has an assortment of corn knives for sale and you'll see that right there is the clipper okay. and the clipper 
was sold by the dozen. For five twenty-five, that's five dollars and twenty-five cents American per dozen. Okay. The clipper had a black finish and a polished cutting edge and a round hardwood handle. Well, we're not going to do it that way. We're going to make it special for Brady and use the blue handle. But what I'm going to do is in this frame, I'm going to take and make an inner frame to put it up here. Okay? And then in this corner down here, I'm going to put a smaller frame. And after Brady receives this, we'll get a picture of him holding the knife. And we'll put that right in here. The corn knife will be mounted like this and uh, I'll situate it so that uh, he can't take it out without having to get a screwdriver uh, because he's only eight years old and really neither me nor his parents want to have him running around uh, uh, trying to see just how well this knife works. But at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut some molding to make an inner frame inside of this frame. Alright, see if the knife fits in. Okay. Now when he gets older, he can just leave it like that. But because he's eight, I have a uh, mount here that will go in and prevent it from coming out of there easily. Nut goes on the back and holds it in place. There. So that's how it'll look. I still have to put the uh, wire on the back of it. I'm going to use a wire to hold it. And here's what it looks like. The top corner has an ad from the W. Bingham Company catalog that includes a section on corn knives here, right in the center. And right there is the clipper corn knife. Okay. Then over here is a picture of me presenting Brady with the corn knife with the blue handle on it. As I told you, he had no idea I was going to make it blue. And so, corn knife is mounted 
frame is finished. All I need to do is make a hanger. going to be about a half inch below the top when it's on. And as I guessed, it's going to be heavier on one end than the other. There, that's going to hang pretty level right there. So, just one thing left to do. That should give us place for Brady to sign it. said you couldn't have your corn knife at home because it's too dangerous. Mm -hmm. But I think I found a way. What? Whoa! We did it! We had this before we could use it for cutting the corn. Yeah, we missed it by a few days, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Guess what? What? It's right there. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? It's cool. Huh? It's cool. You can hang it up in the basement. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right, one more thing. What? You helped make it, didn't you? You gotta sign him Brady in there. I made you a place to sign it, so sign it real neat. It's called Brady Mine. Whatever you want to put in there, it'll be on there forever. Okay, hey buddy, it's all yours now. Yay! Hmm? Where are we going to hang it, Dad?
If you have the time, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a comment and poke that like button.